Now that I've attached both the jQuery library and the table sorter plugin into my page, um, I actually wanted to do something. And in order to do that, I need to initialize it and figure out the directions on, on how to actually get it to sort my table. So good place to start when you're using something new like this is, well, the plugin page's actual documentation. So I'm looking at tablesorter.com forward slash docs. And here it has a good, pretty good documentation on how to use it. And so just going through everything, it tells me that, okay, jQuery plugin, uh, it'll make, you know, HTML table with T head and T body tags into a sortable table. Great. That's exactly what I need. And I have the T head and T body. So here's some particular, well, here's all the particulars about it. Looks good. It, here's it's telling me getting started is already telling me what I need to do and the first thing I need to do it, it says that we need to basically um, call you know link those two the jQuery library and the table sorter plugin into our web page now we did that already I have three calls one is my popup.js but that's something else I have my jQuery library my table sorter right here so so far I've I've completed that step. Now it says table sorter works on standard HTML tables. You must include all right T head and T body. We have that. And now I notice this is they gave the table its own ID. So that's kind of a hint about something. This is exactly what I have. All right. Start by telling table sorter to sort your table when the document is loaded. Okay. Now this piece of code over here is what we need to put into our head to initialize the plugin. It's basically, if you look at this at this code over here, where you see pound my table, and you go up top and you see the table ID is my table. The way this plugin works is you set this piece of code up into your head, you put here, you don't put Pound dot my ta uh, pound my table. This is your own custom um, ID selector. But whatever ID selector you put in for my table, you're going to have to give your table that ID selector because that's how this plugin knows to sort to target that table for sorting. So we could go ahead and once you see this piece of code, just copy it, load it right into your clipboard. And then we have to set it up in, in our page. Now, once I paste this here, this code alone isn't going to do anything because um, our HTML doesn't even know what kind of code that is. It's actually, it's assuming it's HTML, but that's incorrect because it's a JavaScript. So we need to actually tell it that the type of script that it, or the type of code this is, is um, JavaScript, similar to what we're calling in over here. So what we're going to do is give it a script and then we're going to say the type is JavaScript. So it's going to be text forward slash JavaScript. And here we go. And all of a sudden, once we put this first call in here, like so, you notice how the formatting of our, uh, the, the color coding of our code changes. That's exactly what we're looking for. And then once we get we put this in, we open up the script, we have all this stuff in the middle, which I'll indent, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close it. I'm going to forward slash script, and there we go. So the code looks similar, should look like this for you, in blue. And the one thing that I'm going to change is I need to make this my own custom thing. I don't want to leave it my table. So once I do that, I'm going to put inside of that those double quotes, I'm going to put down sortable. Now, sort you don't have to name it sortable. This sortable is what I am going to uh, give my table an ID of. So once I do that, I make sure my syntax is right. Keep an eye over here to your left in Dreamweaver because if you get a syntax error it'll tell you right away like check this out okay you see what happened over there I added some extra garbage and it gave me this red mark on 
line 17 and it says if you look up top it Dreamweaver gives you a nice error message uh, there's a syntax error on line 17 so uh, just make sure that you don't have any of those errors like that okay so here I have sortable now I'm gonna go down to my table where's my table and I have oh I already put it in but let me take it out because I did this right before this video I'm gonna give my table you should have table space summary right and that's the summary attribute and wedge in the middle of there you could put in ID equals and then I'm gonna do you know double quote sortable then put another quote and once I save this at this point everything should be ready to go so these two are calling the the two uh, those two lines are calling the scripts the jQuery library and the table sorter plugin and then down here this is initializing the table sorter plugin and it's also targeting my ID selector that's sortable which is a table so let's see how this how this actually works and if it works this is the yeah, moment of truth so here we go I'm gonna refresh this make sure it's not cached and oh there we go it is working see I'm clicking on song and it's doing it now probably need a little more feedback over here and we're gonna to want to do some some edit some um, styling so we know what's going on but for sure it is working so let me give this so here it is in Firefox it's working let's try it in um, Internet Explorer shouldn't be a problem it shouldn't be a problem seems like it always is anyway okay sortable perfect so let me give this final look in uh, Safari and I'll be pretty satisfied that it, that it works great now that was a pretty painless way of getting a sortable table in my opinion